to my Leos. Leos, hopefully you all are having a great weekend. Hopefully you all are taking some good special care of yourselves. The moon is in Cancer. And then after that, it'll move into Leo. But for right now, the moon is a waxing crescent moon in Cancer. Waxing crescent moons are all about setting intentions, right? This cycle is really going to be centered around about how you blossom. We're going to have a full moon in Sagittarius on May 23rd. And it's a full flower moon, right? A full moon in Sagittarius, but it's a flower moon. And so how are you blossoming this uh, cycle? We had a a uh, full pink moon, uh, rose-colored glasses were removed last cycle. So now this cycle, you're thinking about blossoming. This is still the year of wealth. This is the, still the year of karmic cycles being broken. Um, so how are you blossoming? We are always, oh, you're already midway through the year, right? Already midway through the year. And so um, you're going along with sources flow. So let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Mercury is post-shadow retrograde until the 13th. You may be watching this video on the 12th of May. So it's post-shadow retrograde until the 13th, right? So if you've been waiting for some answers for some things you've been praying uh, for, they still are coming through. So make sure you quiet your mind. Make sure you just I'm to do some housekeeping before we get started with the reading. Um, make sure you are pulling your birth chart. Make sure you know what your moon sign is because cancer is ruled by the moon. And so you may feel super extra sensitive this weekend. Um, you want to go where you are appreciated and not simply where you are tolerated. Cancer is a water sign. Water symbolizes our emotions, our feelings, our subconscious habits, uh, quality of relationships, friendships, our intuition, our need for our spirits to be fed. So it's important who you're around, you know, when you're feeling super sensitive, you don't want to be around insensitive people while you're trying to process your emotions. And, you know, this weekend could be super sensitive for a lot of people for, you know, you know, whatever reasons, you know, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. The moon card, right? Came out first, the magician card, you're learning how to take your power back, you know, just kind of sort of over feelings about things, right? Um, here we have the moon card. Here's the magician card. Here's the hierophant card. Hierophant card is about, you know, having an innate, an innate spiritual um, sense about things, right? Um, you know, an innate spiritual understanding of things, looking at things with a higher mind, you know, um, not doing an injustice to yourselves anymore, you know, trying to resolve some kind of conflict, you know, within yourselves and not looking for other people's, uh, you know, approval. Here we have the uh, six of pentacles here, not being delusional about things, um, learning how to, you know, take your power back, right? So getting away from any confusion, any uh, disorganized thinking. So you know, cancer is a, um, the symbol is a crab. And so this is where you may want to go into your crab shell, you know, and just kind of, you know, get away from all of this, just all kinds of talk about a whole lot of different things that really just, you don't feel safe. I mean, just talk, having those conversations, a whole lot of different opinions about a whole lot of different things. Um, and really just tapping in, look, I'm just left, just tapping in. Um, yeah, just tapping in pentacles is about, um, health. It's about home. It's about, um, it's about, um, it's about health home. It's about generosity. It's about, um, money, uh, wealth, practicality. It's about all those things. And sources of saying everything is lining up perfectly for you. Like I said, temperance card came out twice. So you definitely have some guardian angels watching over you, helping you to resolve some kind of internal conflict where you don't feel like you are carrying the weight of um, anyone's imbalance, you know, on your internal scales, right? So you're letting go of some kind of doubt. You're letting go of some kind of fear. Hierophant came out twice. 
somebody has been really stubborn, somebody has been really bullheaded, you know, about some things, you know, from the past. And just being around those types of, um, you know, energies who are quite materialistic um, can hurt people. Here we have the will of the year. Somebody's going to feel very fortunate. Um, let me see. Uh, somebody's going to feel very fortunate to be hopeful, blissful, and just be optimistic. Here we also have the Ten of Pentacles here. I see financial independence, which means that you're... you're You desire teamwork when it comes to family, you know, and this is what's going to, this is going to really, really, you know, I, I feel like somebody maybe need to kind of sort of isolate yourself away from like a bunch of chaos and confusion in your life. You know, somebody really, really desires uh, teamwork and, um, yeah. Any kind of being a, get, getting connected to any energies that are vain and vengeful and like to disrupt people's peace in some way, shape, or fashion. So it's just like you're going to have to get away from those types of spirits. Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a bait and switch. Here's the um, page. I mean, here's the five of wands, the uh, page of wands, the two of cups, the seven of cups. Here was the knight of swords. Here we have the five of swords. Here we have the four of swords. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, Five of Wands here. Yeah, something is just like a bait and switch for you. Like, I feel like, you know, something is coming up, like, from your flesh, like, that's getting you upset and frustrated. And being around certain types of energies that's just, like I said, all about materialism. They're all about, you know, getting their hands on anything, like, really trying to determine your wealth in a sense. So it needs you to get away from those energies. Here we have the Two of Cups here. Um, we also have the seven of cups. So in terms of your love life, I feel like your, your wishes are being fulfilled, you know, in terms of a soulmate coming into your life, you know, helping you to keep your vibrations as high as possible, you know, trying to keep you to stay focused. Here we have the knight of, um, knight of swords here to keep you to stay focused and not go crazy. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> you survived a lot of things that were designed to take you out of here, but it's, um, A lot of ancestors that's trying to get mess. This is what this is why it's gonna be important to get in your crab shell and get away from a whole bunch of noise this weekend because you got a lot of messages that's trying to come through the air, you know, for you. And it's gonna be important. Remember the we're leading with pentacles in your minor arcana. So staying close to home is gonna be very important to you so that you can reconnect with your ancestors because. Being around energies that like to keep a bunch of stuff going, like, you know, they like to instigate, agitate stuff, you know, and if, if it can even be something totally unrelated to, you know, what you got going on. Let's say, for instance, you're with your soulmate and they got, you know, they're all fired up because somebody got them all fired up. This is going to, this is going to require some, just some isolation for you. Because it is a really, really sensitive time and somebody is really waiting for some answers to come down for some things. You know, you're trying to wait on some uh, some answers to come through. So, hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah. Do, 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 do. 
It's two types of situations from your past who are very low vibrational. They're just really delusional, right? They don't... Um, something about their energy has... I feel like somebody needs to look at this from a higher frequency. I'm trying to see how I can help you to look at this from a higher frequency. Because you're starting out with feminine energy. So information is trying to come to you. Like very valuable information is trying to come in. You know, valuable information. We're talking about pentacles. So valuable information is trying to come in. Um... And it's trying to come in through your prayer and meditation. That's what Source is trying to get somebody to do is like get away from all the noise, all of kind of the moving around and all the friction and all of that stuff. You know, on the surface, that looks like it is, um, you know, it keeps you busy, occupied. Maybe I just need to do something, kind of get out of my head a little bit. But Source needs you to be in a space where just through prayer and meditation, Yeah. To get some answers. Here we have, there it is. There's signs all around you. There's signs all around you. Sacral chakra cleanse. Yeah. Somebody's, so it's just trying to get somebody to flush out all these feelings, like be around, you know, so everything in moderation. So you have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things clearly. Root chakra cleanse. New love awaits. Don't return their call. Your inner child is very proud of you. You deserve the best. Somebody secretly has a crush on you. Let go and let God. Throat chakra cleanse. Don't give yourself a headache over this. It's time for you to dream bigger. Ask source for clarity. That's what I was talking about, prayer and meditation. Close out the cycle in love. Hmm. I feel like, Leos, I feel like you're around some energies that have their own agenda. It's like sources saying to you to close out cycles in love. Take your power back. See things from a higher frequency because you are trying to... You are trying to resolve some kind of inner conflict. But I feel like you are, you are somehow, you could somehow be connected to very materialistic energies in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Hmm, let me see what else is going on here. It's really like there's some energies that are instigating something. That's where the bait and switch comes in. They're instigating something. Like they're saying to you, oh, I wouldn't let so-and-so get away with such and such. When Source wants you to keep your vibrations high... Source really wants you to keep your vibrations high. Here we have the Four of Wands. Here we have the Hermit card. You have the uh, Hermit card, the Tower card, the uh, Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Hmm. So here's the Tower card, right? So Source is saying to you, um, some kind of abundance is trying to come in. So all of this is like, all of this connects back to you, right? So it's two situations in particular where I feel like 
some kind of approval is coming through, like money is trying to come through. So whether it's grant money that's trying to come through or you're getting a raise at work, um, it's trying to come through. Somebody could be getting approved for a home loan or something like that is trying to come through. There's a lot going on in your reading. A lot going on in your reading. So, okay. You got a lot of blessings coming through. But I feel like there is an insecurity, like somebody's wondering whether they're good enough or whether they're worthy. Money is kind of sort of at the helm of it. So it feels like somebody's like, okay, I want to be accepted and approved, you know, by people, places and things and sources saying you're kind of looking at it wrong. Like you're not, it's not the approved because they're not your source. People, places and things are not your source. You are already approved and accepted by source. So the tower card, somebody's having a tower moment because source is saying, this is where you're operating in purpose. How can I be a better human being for myself, for my community and the world at large? If you have a family for my family, my community world at large, how can I be a better human being, Right. You got some people that are connected to you who just look at you as like as a way to get their pockets fatter. And these are energies that um These are energies that are holding on to something money related, something having to do with money. They're materialistic. They're holding on to something that's money related. So if they feel like they can use you, um, if they feel like they can use you Leos to get like as a pawn to get some money from some people, then they'll do that. But then the tower would fall on you. And sources saying you don't need these energies. See, the rose-colored glasses have been removed. It's two, it's two energies in particular that are very stubborn, very bullheaded. They don't want to pay attention to anything. So it's basically like you're saying, I'm going to have to save myself. This is where you got to look out for numero uno. This is where you got to say, look, um, okay, I don't want the, fall, the tower to fall on me. I got too much to lose. I got to save myself. And I'm talking to you wherever Leo is in your birth chart. You can't be indecisive about this at all, for real. You're gonna have to leave them in, you're gonna have to leave them behind because source is breaking karmic cycles. And it's something that you've been praying for, something that you have been asking source for, and source is saying, I need you to get away from them because they still stuck on chapter five. They still in this get back obsessed with something mode. And they're trying to get you caught up in some stuff where you end up going down with them. And sources said, I need you to get away from them because they're giving you this false sense of, it's almost like this, um, it's this false sense if you do this, and again, only take what resonates with you. If this doesn't resonate with you, then it doesn't resonate with you. But this is a very clear message. If you do this for us, then we give you access into, you know, uh, some part, you're part of the legacy or something like that. But source is saying you have your own legacy wealth aside from these energies that's holding on to something. So you're going to have to do a root chakra cleanse. And so you getting away from these energies is already going to create some kind of suspicion because they're going to think, okay, you know, if, if, if you're getting away, first of all, they're in survival mode already. They're already going down. They're in survival mode. And so they're wondering, okay, why Leo, our ticket wants to get away from us? Why doesn't Leo want to be connected to us? I'm talking to you wherever Leo is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. 
why does Leo want to get away from us? What is Leo thinking about? Who is Leo connecting with? Like, what is it? Right? Let's see, is this snake right here? You're having a Kundalini experience. So this snake can be venomous or non-venomous. So when you when you see it as a non-venomous, you're like, hmm, I'm seeing something like somebody's biting their index finger. Like I'm seeing something that don't seem right. I need to get away from these energies because something don't seem right. Like something smells fishy, <laughs> right? You're on a, you're on a, right here. You got the ocean right here. Something smells fishy. Let me get away from these energies, right? So they'll see you kind of sort of getting away like, okay, then they sit near by near finger saying, hmm, what is, okay, why, why is Leo trying to separate themselves from, why is Leo trying to, so, so you'll be considered as a snake. Why is, because you're outgrowing, you say a snake is trying to outgrow something, right? But you're picking up on some things. Your intuition, this is a tower card. Your intuition is like, okay, something is fishy, like something is not right. I feel like I'm being used. I feel like I'm something is happening and I don't want to be a part of something. You would be right. So this is what Source is saying to you. Get away from those energies and develop some kind of a strategy. Get away from them and develop some kind of strategy. Because you would not be the first energy that got away from them and developed some kind of strategy. Like somebody else picked up on something there, some stuff that some people are into for money, picked up on something and get and got away from them, right? Um, one second. Okay, so this is kind of sort of part of some, some um, this is what I'm saying in the reading. Again, take only what resonates with you. Let me see if I can add some structure to this. Hmm. See this card right here? This card right here means hostility. So what they try to do is get people in hostile situations, like put people in very hostile situations. And somehow get money from them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Because the the way that they get money, like, is through some kind of legal, uh, some kind of legal situation by putting people in situations where they um, end up paying other people. And source is trying to get you away from these types of energies. But but you have some other stuff that's going on in your life too. Like you wanna you wanna increase a raise, you want grant money, somebody wants to buy a house, you got stuff that you're trying to do too, you know, in your life. You could have legal stuff going on too, but all of this ties back to you, Leo. It's almost like source is saying to you, you won't have a choice but to break away or get away, like to see what's going on. And that's why Source needs you to get away, protect your energy, and go into prayer and meditation so that Source can show you everything. Document your dreams, your downloads, everything, because Source is going to break karmic, uh, karmic cycles, negative cycles. I don't care who it is, who you connected with. You know, this is you and every zodiac sign. Karmic cycles are being broken. No matter who you are, no matter what organization it is, no nothing. If it's karmic and source has been trying to tell you, I'm trying to change. You've been praying. Okay. I want to build a life with whomever we trying to do this. We trying to do that. And it, the way that, the way that things happen are in such a mysterious way that sometimes you like, even if you were to try to under, like sometimes like think about how, Think about how you were blessed with certain things. If you were to try to explain stuff to people, you could you give no credit but to source. You like like if I try to explain it, it wouldn't even make any sense. Like if I were to try to explain, like if you try to explain to a person, 
if let's say for instance you had a 200 credit score and i don't know anybody with a 200 credit score but if you had a, let's say you had a 200 credit score and you got approved for a mansion <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like you'd be like i can't even explain how the heck you looking at the house every single day like are you waiting for somebody to jump out the bushes with a camera to say you're on candid camera like how the heck you get in this house this this mansion you know how in the world are you living in this house or let's say your house you got into you somehow you thinking okay you came across you know this house in this really expensive lavish community and you pay one sixteenth of the cost of this you know of this property where your other your your neighbors pay full price and you can give no credit to it but source you can give no credit but to source right it's the same thing with this somebody could have a court case or something riding on some stuff right now and right now you just can't put it all together and source needs you to get away from some stuff something is somebody is having a kundalini experience where source is like i need you to get away from some energies i need you to get by yourself because something smells fishy Something doesn't seem right. And if you're around a whole bunch of chaos and confusion because you think, oh, I'm having a lot of fun and I'm getting invited to stuff. That's the whole purpose is to keep you distracted. I'm going to invite you to this. I'm going to invite you to that. I want you to be a part of this. I want you to be a part of that. And Sorcerer of said, no, I need you to take your time this new moon phase and I need you to pay attention. I need you to pay attention. Because there's some energies that's going through a tower moment. Things are coming. It's going down, 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 down. And um, it's a lot of different energies involved in some things. Uh, and you're going to have to choose is between you or them. I would hope you choose you. I would hope that you would choose you. So, you have to decide what it is. Number 11, I am intuitive. You have a keen awareness of what's happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. I'm talking to you wherever Leo is in your birth chart. Leos, please pull your birth chart, find out what your moon sign is, then go to Google and type in uh, how to nurture whatever your moon sign, man, woman, or however you identify, and really study it, right? Really study how to nurture yourself because I really need you to go into your crab shell and pay attention. Like, I really need you to go in and pay attention because you got a lot of stuff that's going on. There's a lot of um, things of value that kind of sort of are hanging in the balance, you know. And so you have to determine your worth and your value and see, you know, what do you want to be a part of? You know, like what what is a value to you? Because I feel like you got some highly intuitive people that's connected to... Um, um, some things and they'll know that you, um, loss. Sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. Let's see what uh... kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for my generos for generosity shared by others. My smile can make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. Yeah, so I feel like uh, looking at your cards here, 
things are lining up for you perfectly. Um, source, I'll just tell you this. Source is trying to make you and your person very, very wealthy. But I also feel like there are some energies that Source is also trying to separate you from too. And you're starting to notice some things, whether it's noticing some things, like Source is really just trying to clean house. So if you're already with your person, Source is saying you're, maybe your person is starting to notice some things with their friends that for you, y'all looking at each other like, uh, we didn't notice this at first. Um, um, yeah, we're not on the same frequency as this. Or maybe you noticing it on your side and y'all looking at each other like, uh, yeah, we're not on the same frequency as this. Um, <laughs> we need to, re we need to, um, you know, electric slide on out of this, right? Something don't smell, something felt smell a little fishy here. We, mm -mm. We don't want to be a part of this because, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you all. Like, I, I feel like other people have, you know, moved on from some things that they started to, they started to notice some stuff too. And, uh, you moving on, you and your significant other moving on. If you're single, you know, you're moving on, you know, and you notice this stuff, you're going to be called a snake. If you're with your person and you and your person move on, y'all going to be called a snake together, like his, his, whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but at least you would have gotten to safety is what I'm saying, right? Because that tower is coming. That tower, it's already here. You're already having an awakening. And that's all like, that's what I'm saying is that, so, you know, you and your person together, maybe y'all notices some stuff. But, uh, somebody, somebody is dealing with some very materialistic kind of money hungry, you know, kind of do anything to, you know, anything for just the material, whatever. And, um, and sometimes you don't know who it is, but it's best to kind of sort of stay away from that kind of stuff and to, and just let the chips fall where they may for real. Like just let the chips fall where they may source was sorted all out, but at least you protect it. So and that's what I'm saying in the car. Sources, you're protected. Just get away from them because other people have gotten away. They like, oh. So uh, that's what I'm saying for you all, Leos. Like I said, you all are divinely protected. You don't have anything to worry about. But once you start noticing some stuff, then um, protect your energy. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you all in um, in the next I think that was it. Yeah, that's what I, I'll, t I'll see you in the next video. You don't have any questions this time. I'm sending good energy everybody's way. Um, um, and like I said, set your intentions, but don't forget to put your action behind it. Like I said, you start noticing some stuff. You know, if you're with your person, you know, grab their hand a little tighter. Just like, okay, let's just, you know, like I said, let's pop, lock, and let your slide on out of the <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's get on out of here, right? But that's what I have for you, and I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.